guys this is mr joshy j and this is your sprint race formula one austrian grand prix review max verstappen wins the sprint race ahead to sergio perez and carlos sainz now at the start of the race the two red bulls come very close to contact sergio perez had the better start sergio perez went very defensive Almost horse Max wide. Max very unhappy, but to me, I think it was fair racing. You know, Checo was trying to defend his position, but in the end, it didn't matter because Max absolutely dominated that race. But the battle in the midfield, I mean, from 8th to about 14th, so exciting. So much happening. You know, my favourite team, Ferrari, and my second favourite team McLaren having an epic battle Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris obviously Charles Leclerc he had a free grid place penalty for impeding Oscar Piastri in SQ3 or SQ2 so he had to go back three places the Mercedes had a disaster SQ session this morning I mean Lewis Hamilton he got eliminated because obviously, yeah, he got eliminated because he had problems. He got in traffic and Georgia. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll just. Apologies for that. So, yep, Lewis Hamilton, he got held up in traffic. So he qualified 18th. And obviously, George Russell, he had hydraulic issues. So. Yeah, not the best of mornings for Mercedes. Obviously, Ferrari, Leclerc having that penalty was not ideal, but Carlos Sainz still got third in the shrimp race. And i got to say, the upgrades on Ferrari is working. It's looking really good. Lando Norris qualified at P3 in the sprint race, and then, unfortunately, got blocked off by Max. So he dropped down the order, but... That was some good racing. I mean, look, up front is a bit boring, but from 8th place, about 14th place, so exciting, the battles, honestly. i got to say, I, I really enjoyed it. This is definitely one of the circuits, uh, the sprint races, but I still think the sprint races should be in the bin, in my opinion, honestly. To me, they're not good enough. They are so artificial, it's unbelievable. Yeah, just get rid of them, man. They're not needed. But, I mean, maybe a few tweaks and that. Maybe it could work. But to me, I just find it so... There's no need for it. Because the current format, to me, works. You know, FP1, FP2, FP3, qualifying and the race. That format works. But I guess if you are going to do sprints, this is the circuit to do it. Because it's so short and so fast as well. So, yeah, I reckon a few more tweaks it could work out. But at the moment, I'm still not really warm into it in the moment. But this one was decent and I enjoyed it. So, yeah, cannot wait for the main Grand Prix tomorrow. So, I'm only seeing for the main Grand Prix be Max Verstappen on pole position, Leclerc is second, because obviously he won't get a penalty for the main race, because it was just a sprint race, he had the three grid place penalty. But my driver, Lewis Houghton, starts in the main race, yeah, made a good recovery drive, you know. All right, no points, but he still made some ballsy overtakes, Bottas, he gambled, you know, put on the intermediate tyres that it was just too wet for that. So, yeah, he come in and put the right tyres on, but had to get a go, didn't he? But unfortunately, the conditions were too wet. But, yeah, that's the sprint race done. Over in the flash, 24 laps. Wow, unbelievable. Unfucking believable I can't believe it, how quickly the sprint race ended. It's just over in a flash, man. Half an hour is, should be longer. Maybe you can hit like one hour or something. I think that'd be absolutely epic. That would work out better than half an hour. 
is what it is, you know. I'm sure they have their reasons why they only have to race a half an hour, but it should be longer, in my opinion. Alex Albon, he was doing some great driving in that sprint race, but unfortunately, his tyres went away towards the end and finished about 14th in the end, unfortunately, for Alex Albon. Comment your thoughts down below, I will always reply. And join me tomorrow for the race review. And then Monday for driving ratings and team ratings, the Austrian Grand Prix. That was a really good sprint race. Really enjoyed that, but still not a fan in them, though. Bye-bye.